Okay, welcome back everybody to, I don't know where my coffee cup went, oh here, Coffee and Art in the Morning. We're back with another segment, this is like segment three, just doing some short little videos today, well, uh, about an hour and so, you know, in between, um, because you are, okay, thanks, thanks uh, Janet, because we're just doing some different little segments. Very busy this week. It's spring break, family things, Jen's coming, it's raining here today. Anyway, that being said, uh, I already did a portrait segment, a glue book segment, and now we're doing an illustration artboard segment. I want to just practice on this artboard. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale regularly $19.99 for $11.99, and it's a Canson illustration artboard. No one's sponsoring me. I just like, I just got it on clearance. And what it is, it's this, it's like mat board. It's like framing, like you frame your pictures with. It's like mat board. And it's called Ultra Smooth Extra White for Superior Contrast in Ink, Marker, and Pencil. So what I want to do, though, is I want to test some watercolor on it. It may or may not, I don't, I don't think it's going to buckle because I'm not going to do a wet on wet technique where it's like sopping wet. Uh, but I want to see if the paper doesn't pill or anything like that just a test so we're gonna, just going to play with this so I'm going to do another um, I'm going to do another lionfish let's see do I want this behind here does that help kind of bring out a little bit that that red just might keep my camera focused just enough let's turn it this way so that I think that might help with the lighting there so it doesn't flash out because it's tricky to do um, white on camera all right so i'm going to start with just doing a sketch of a lionfish and i know there's a shadow there it's dark in here today maybe let me try to get a little bit more light because it is rainy day rainy day if you have any questions put them in caps if you're watching on uh, youtube thanks for watching the recording over there so i'm going to sketch out a uh, lionfish and i want it like off the off the charts off the chain <laughs> he's gonna fill up the whole page it's gonna be like a real close-up just so I can play with the watercolor and I'm gonna do them in blue instead of doing like um, uh, the yellows and oranges like a lionfish is I want to do them in blue I just want to play so anyway so first thing I'm gonna do is just sketch him out here um, there's the top of his head. He's going to have things go off. Here's his mouth. It's going to be like over here, down to here, down to here. So I'm just kind of, and I know it's going to be hard to see guys, um, with the light blue drawing, but it, yeah, it is what it is. All right. So he's going to be this way. It's kind of going to be facing a little three quarter at us. He's going to have one eye here. <clears throat> let's see that needs to come up with my eraser I need to bring his eye up pull his mouth down let's see how far I want his I think an eye there and then over here he's going to have another and all the stripes and everything so this comes up here I'm just talking out loud guys talking out loud um, with the blue pencil, it's easy, it's easy to erase, and this board is is really you know nice to erase on. It's not it's not leaving any eraser marks. Me and Jess, which do you use? Okay, I, I didn't see what you use. Uh, use what? Um, Bright Meadow. I've been meaning to ask which do I use? Which do I use what? Sorry, it scrolled off the screen. Okay, so. I kind of want him to be like this. And his little mouth comes up this way. Um, some stripes this way. And his little eyeball around here. And then comes around this way. And his little chin. His little face come around this way. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> For my desk, I'm this. This right here, this is just the black craft paper roll. The big, uh, I guess it's three feet wide. No, two, one, two, yeah, three foot wide. Like the size of like a wrapping paper. It's black craft, 
like wrapping paper, but it's like thick. It's not. It's thicker than wrapping paper, like craft paper. Uh, I get it at Michael's by the roll. <laughs> and when when it gets too bad, I'll either paint it over or just put a whole nother. There's I don't know how many layers are under here right now. Let's see. Rabbit trail. Now got me curious. I'm gonna—I'll come right over here because I don't want to cut it right. Let's see. Let's see if I can see how many layers are under here. And then I'll just put a piece of tape over. I don't know how many. I've gone up to like ten layers. So let's see. Right now I have not that many. Oh, there's another one. Let's cut down another layer. Let's see how many layers I have under here. All right. Then I'm going to stick them all back down and and uh, tape it down again. Oh, man, I do have a lot of layers. Okay, so, oh, well, here, let me move the camera over here. Let's see how many layers we have. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I used some craft one day. Seven, it's got blue paint on it. No, that's a different one. Wait, wait. I lost crown. Dang it. Let's start over. Okay, so there's the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 layers. We have 13 layers. <laughs> okay, so now... Get a piece of packing tape here. And smack a piece of tape over that. Okay, so yeah. We have 13 layers. <laughs> of uh, paper. Okay. Back to the fish. <laughs> Let's see. He looks a little sad, doesn't he? Okay, then he'll have from about here, I think is where his fin is going to go right off the page. Um, sometimes I, I cut it up and reused it in things, but um, sometimes I've sent them to Joycey. All right, so I need to kind of, I'm going to have to tilt this guy so I can have a, do straight ink, straight lines. And it curves right off the page. Because I want it to go right off the illustration board there. And these all kind of connect in there somehow. A small eraser. And then on the top of his head here, these stripes, they almost like, the stripes almost go like right into the little, some are thicker here. Because this is where I'm going to have the blue paint. And then these are like little spiky things, and the spiky things are going to go right off the page as well. Hey Val, Chabs, Marilyn. Hey Marilyn, I didn't even didn't even see you coming in, girl. Girl. That one's too thick. And then there's thin stripes in between the thicker ones. 
see, this one should be a thicker one. So I just want to play with this illustration board. Again, I'm going to turn this sideways so I get them all going right here. Let's just go ahead and space them out and then I'll go back. So we'll go like that. I don't like that one. Just talking to myself, or well, talking to you guys, or talking out loud. <laughs> I think I could almost have another one right in here. Why not? I have a couple of my own. Just because I like the way that looks better. Okay. Alright, then this is going to come down right off the page here. It's going to have some more of these little tentacle, or these little fan looking, kind of weavy looking, something like this. How do you get your image to stay up without closing? You mean on my iPad, just touch it. If it starts going dark, I touch it. Okay, now these, I don't really like those rounded edges. That doesn't look natural. So I think I'm going to kind of make my own like shapes there. Again, I'm I'm kind of going off the picture, but I'm kind of making it up too. All right. So then his little mouth comes around this way. Oh, it's just it's like his lip thing comes up like that. And he has a few little tentacle thing. Whoop. In the back, back behind him. Because I want this to fill the page, is my plan. I think my pencil might be almost out of lead. Not that I don't have any more. I want all this to come right off. I think I need to put let me let me check my pencil lid here. For some reason I think I need more. I'm just gonna double check it there. Put that on. Okay, let me twist it and see if I can get one to drop down. Come on. Can't see if it's come down. Nope. There we go. Okay. So I want these to kind of be very. Um, this comes back like that, and then I want these to kind of roll off his body here. And then kind of you might see a little bit of his body under there. And then these stripes come up. I'm just saying out loud what it is in my head, guys. <laughs> I'm talking. This is, this is like what I would be thinking. Okay. Now some stripes on his face. I hope I'm staying in this camera here. And 
and then some bigger stripes here, here, and here. Okay, he has a few little stripes on his face here. I don't want to get, if I get too many stripes on his, under his lip there, it's going to look like something, I don't know, it's not going to look like his little face. So I want to kind of leave that, I think. Let's overlap a few here. leave that. Okay, there's my kind of little stylized looking little fish. What do y'all think? And actually I would like to be called this like maybe Blue Moon. So I want to get a suit size. Maybe we'll put a moon up here. Let's see. Do I, do I want it off the page? No. I mean I, everything else is off the page but maybe just a little one. I'm just looking at the different sizes. Maybe just one like this. Okay. That's it. Makes me want to sing the Billy Bass song. <laughs> all right. So there we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I got all these. Like, there's one, two, th wait. One, two, three. Yeah. So let me just kind of, oh, I got to do my little stripes. Well, I guess I could just do the stripes with the. I don't even, let me just put one or two in just so I know where, which, because I'm going to want these to have stripes. And they'll be going different ways, you know. I guess I better put in these large ones. These I can just paint in. The, the, each one of these are all, all those are striped. I mean, like, almost like polka dotted, if y'all remember the last one we drew. this board will hold up but if it doesn't this is what you know practicing does if you really wanted to do a full-on piece you want to make sure this board's going to hold up of course you could just test it out a card chick you could just uh have one board be a test board right um i want this to curve a little same for this one these big ones up here need to curve a little more going around a curve. Okay. These are going to be striped as well. So I hope you are just having fun hanging out and chatting with each other. And if you're watching on YouTube, if you don't want to see all the bit boring bits, just fast forward. All right, so. Okay. Now some of this I'll just have maybe a little bit of blue water wash on there. I'm not sure yet. All right, now i got to decide which watercolor I want to use. I'll probably just get my... over here. I'll probably just use this set for now because it's out. 
this is my koi my koi set all right well, let's get a brush let's use one of my new brushes shall we let's get a pointy one let's get a flat one those two will be enough i'm gonna i'm gonna spray some water in here and I already sprayed all this because I need to test what color I want to use. Oh, I need a sheet to practice. Uh, water, color sheet to practice your test on. Hang on, guys. Let me find a, a piece of paper over here. Just a piece of paper to test color. Do I want a nice blue blue? Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Do I want to mix up a darker blue? Ooh, that indigo is good. I think I'm going to go with that. It's kind of like an indigo. Although it's probably not called indigo, but it's almost like indigo. I'm liking that blue. Yeah, we're going to go with that. All right. Get my water over here. All right, I'm gonna go with the round, round brush here. Oh, you just got the brush the other day? I know, aren't they good, Mel? All right, so I'm gonna try to, I want y'all to be able, to, well, we know what color that is, so we can move it. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. And it, again, this is on an illustration board. It's like mat board, like you, you know, thick like you'd frame. All right, so now I think I'm gonna start We'll go ahead and get this moon wet. Again, I'm not sure how well this is going to do watercolor-wise. We're just going to play and test. So don't email me. Oh. <laughs> I did do a little wet and wet on this moon because I want it to look moonish. <laughs> But I'm not going to do a lot of wet, like wetting stuff, right? <laughs> Didi, did you get the new brushes and paints on your pizza night with Hubster? No. Um, I don't think, I don't remember. I don't remember where I, uh, what day. It could have been pizza. No, because we wouldn't have stopped at the store on pizza. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. I was excited. Looking forward to using them with your Cotman watercolor set. Yeah. All right. Oh. So now, I'm going to need a lot of water here. Because I'm going to want to water this down. See right here? Water it down. Got these trays here. See? Let's just put some up there. See? <laughs> how interesting or how much you want to see what. But I do need a Kleenex. So the soft up. Oh, my Kleenex. I have a Kleenex. Hang on. Got to move a box of Kleenex. <laughs> to control the water in my brush. <sighs> All right, here we go. All right, let's see here where I want to start. I'll start on his little eye, I think. And this is all kind of, I mean, I have some lines, but not every line here either. I'm kind of just going with it. Going with the flow. <laughs> blue moon. That's right. That's why I want to, that's why I want to do him blue. 
and I'm probably going to do some watercolor and then probably some pencil. I'm not sure yet. Okay. So this is just like the first layer. Gotta see which ones, where's my thick ones here and where's my thin ones. <gasps> ah! Look what I did, guys. I just dropped. Now we're gonna have to, I don't know, we'll make that a bird or something. <laughs> I dropped it on there. Or I could paint the background blue right there. We'll see. I'm not worried about it. This is, like I said, this is a test to make sure how this illustration board holds up to this watercolor. So far it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's raining here. If it says, as long as it's not lightning, I'll stay. Okay, so we want this dark down here. And then get off the excess and kind of feather it out. I like the color, I do too. It's like an indigo blue. Indigo blue is one of my Renaissance colors that I like. Yellow ochre, well, Payne's gray or, you know, indigo, depending on how deep it, the color gets. Um, and um, sienna. I could use those colors all the time. Just those colors. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not worried about it, guys. And again, it's, this isn't really, you know, it's just for us to test this board out. At least it is for me. And that was the idea. Because if I like it, I'll do more watercolors on them. Or mixed media. Oh, let me get over here so you can not get out of frame. And his little eyes on this side. It's got just all you really kind of see is the bump over there. And like Jean says, <laughs> thanks guys. Like Jean says, when you're doing watercolor, it's, you gotta, you know, it, you can't keep looking away. It's a little trickier to watch chat when you're doing watercolor. Because you gotta watch like every little flow of the paint. And you look away and you, and you lift your brush and you get a different effect, you know? So... This one's kind of wavy. It's got a few little, some of those stripes are a little, got a little bit of a wave to them.
What bright size brush is this? Let's see. It should say because they're my new ones. It is a five. It's a five. I don't really care about the size. I care about how pointy it is. See how pointy it is? That's what I'm going by. <laughs> And see, like I'm pushing down and lifting up in one stroke. And I guess because I I'm, I'm do calligraphy, that's not hard for me. In other words, like, let me show you on a test page over here. So let me get the brush real wet so you can see it. So you can do, like, start thin and then push down and then back thin like that. Let me get a little more color. Like that. That's what I'm doing on his stripes. Okay, let's see. Make it a little darker right under his face there. So I kind of want, let me just wet my brush. I just want like almost like a little bit of a blue wash in here. I don't really want this to be stripes. I just want a little bit of a blue wash in there. I might get a couple little details in there later, but I kind of like that. So far, I'm just using one color, guys, just using this one blue. All right. Now that the moon, and all right, so it did kind of feather a little bit. I did a wet on wet up on the moon so that I could get that effect, but I want it nice and crisp too, so I'm going to go in there and kind of sharpen it up because it did kind of go feather a little, but again, that was because I did a wet on wet technique in the moon that will feather out. So now I'm kind of going, now that it's dry, kind of, something like this kind of sharpen it is what I'm trying to say I'm trying to sharpen it I don't know if it's as good as Jean's marble but <laughs> yeah the board is taking it well it is all right, now I gotta just oh, let, let me go ahead and do some more of these stripes. Got a little bit too much water. See, this is why you keep a Kleenex next to you. Get too much water or something, you can pat it out. All right, let's go back up to these stripes. I want these stripes to come this way, so I'm kind of that one's gonna meet there. And any pencil line, I'll just get rid of. All right, so this is gonna come up, come up into those. Make sure, though, if you erase any pencil lines later, I mean, make sure it's later. Don't think that this is dry, even when you think it's dry. It's just best just to, oh, I'm going to see where I'm going to go with this. Wait until it's 100% dry. And I do want one little stripe right down in there. And another one right there. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to another big stripe.
excess off. And these go up into these little spike things too. What do y'all think? How's he looking? turn it guys so I can do these here all right so they come out of his body whoops let's stay there but then I, I want him to start looking kind of speckly so I'm gonna do this now I think I need him to go this way well let's see kind of gives us character when they're at an angle like this so I think I'll just roll with it. Sorry guys, I'm just kind of concentrating. Got any questions, put them in caps, otherwise just chat and hang. I'm going to work for probably what time, to maybe about, I don't know, 20 more minutes, 30. Try to keep this around an hour. And then the where right here is going to need to be a little darker on each one. There we go. I'm liking that. I like that shape better. Yeah, I got uh, at least I've <clears throat> all the birthday cards sent out for the first two weeks of April. If you're on the birthday list, that is. I know Jean is. Thanks, Diane. Quick storm only leaves rain. <clears throat> kind of holding my breath here. 
But it's working really well. I mean, the water is not, um, the you know, the watercolor, I, I'm, it's not feathering out at all where I'm just doing wet on dry. It feathered just the slightest here where this was wet. I wet the circle and then dropped in the blue. So it did get a little, um, just a tiny bit of feather, but very little. So it's really working well with the watercolor. Okay, a little more water on my palette here. And I'm, so far all I'm using is wa one color. And well, that's probably all I am going to use, is just one color and water. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Trying to decide what shape I want these kind of rounded like. It's no particular shape. I mean, that just, just kind of a stripey look. So I'm just kind of getting that in there. Thank you for retweeting. That's somebody else just retweeted my show. Thanks, guys. Okay, something like this. This is going to need a little bit more oomph down in here. If you hear me, I'm not moaning. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> and watercolor, you know, again, if you don't want it to peel and stuff, it's just like I tell you in the, even in color books. you got to let it dry and then put another layer. Don't oversaturate something when you're not sure how it's going to react. You know, let that dry. Then you can put another layer on and get it darker. All right, now let's come down here. It's just various shades of water in here. That's that's how I'm getting light and dark blue. Is just with um, water. Some of these are thicker than others. Some get thin. Maybe some are thicker here. Maybe add a couple more darker ones right in here, right under his chin. And same for back here. I love this color too. All right, let's go off the page with that. Go all the way down. Little kind of curls back in here. Okay. 
All right, now let's see what I want to do with these stripes here. Let's get back to striping. Somehow I gotta incorporate that little faux pas. <laughs> faux pas. Maybe I'll just have to make another one of these ribbon things to fix that. Let's see. There's going to be some striped things in there too, so something like this. Let's do one little ribbon thing here. Let's do a couple little ribbon things in there. Let's see. That one. Maybe one back in there. Get a couple in there. Have you ever taught art in school system? No. Now, I've taught things, but not not a not as a professional teacher. I'm really not a teacher, guys. I'm really not. I I don't have the patience. Just saying. I mean, you know, I've taught my I taught Cam how to draw, and uh, but he was easy because he wanted to learn. He was, uh, you know, it, I, I, I only can really have the patience for people that really, really, if I'm teaching something, it, it has to be somebody that really is wanting to learn. I, I can't, I can't force, force it. You know what I mean? It's like, sit in your chair. No, I, I don't want to paint. Well, yeah, then I don't want to teach you. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to water down my brush a lot and I'm just going to get almost just a little bit of watery blue because what I want to do is right on these things now that it's kind of set there for a second, let me do a little test. I almost just want a little, just a little bit of a, let me put just squirt some water in there. I want a, um, a shadow. Just the slightest bit. I don't know if you can see that. See how I just did that little bit of blue on the side? Uh, yes, he practiced on his own. Oh my gosh, can't get that. It, it, either a book or a, a pencil in his hand. That's the thing about art or music or anything. I, I just, this is my philosophy on it. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can talk about my philosophy while I'm thinking of why I'm concentrating because I'm holding my breath here. Um, I think everybody is creative in some way. I think everybody's born with a love of something. Now, whether that's music, art, 
and again, I, I, I know that there's different opportunities people have. Some people have more opportunities for art classes like Cam. I, you know, he had a Nana that taught him, right? Not everybody has that. But I think that everybody loves something. You have to find what the kids love and encourage it. And sometimes it's a couple of false starts. You know, they you may they may think, oh, I want to do the, play this musical instrument, or I want to do that, and then they go, no, I don't like it. You know, but once they find what they love, then and it's true even at whatever age, at whatever age you are, um, you're going to spend your time, your money, your practice. You're going to do all that if you love it. So if you, if you don't love it, you're not going <clears> to <throat> you're not going to spend the time, the money, the effort, the years and and hours and weeks and months and, you know, to learn like let's just say piano, to learn all the scales and all that. If you don't love doing it. <laughs> Eileen, Eileen, you were born with a gift of enabling. <laughs> And, you know, I, I mean, there are, of course, there are people that, you know, are born with more, uh, maybe it's just the more desire. But so much of it, guys, is, is a skill you can learn. Like somebody said, well, what happens if you wake up and you don't feel like drawing your portrait that day? I draw it anyway. Because <laughs> it's a skill. I've, it's just like, you know, you get up and you drive to work. And then this is simplifying it, I know. But you get up and you drive to work. Well, what if you don't feel like driving that day? Can you still drive? Let's just say you wake up and you don't feel like practicing your, you know, or let's say you know how to play a lot of different music on the piano. You don't feel like it, but can you? Unless you're physically ill, you know, which that does happen to, you know, then you can get up and play your music. So, and I know people mean well when they say, oh, you're, you're so talented. And I say, yeah, talented and 50 years of practice <laughs> that y'all don't see, didn't see, you know? So, yeah. And I know people just mean well. They just mean, oh, like, I like what you did. You draw well. You did, you know, I understand that. They don't, they're not meaning anything by it. But I'm just saying, it's it's not just like you were born with a brush in your hand out of the womb. <laughs> you know, this is uh this is over 50 years worth of work. But I love it, so I want to do it. It's not a chore. It's not it's not it's not work if you love it. It's not work at all. I love doing it. Of course, there's days when I just don't feel good. You know, if I had a cold or something, you know, I may not want to do it. But could I? Probably. Well, riding a bike and driving, or maybe that's not the best examples. Because, you know, that's a one kind of, it's a kind of a one skill thing. Whereas art, painting, drawing, you're, you can always get better, okay? You're always developing. You can always get better with more practice, more years of work, more classes, more lessons, more practice. But, but I think what it is, it's the love of the thing that makes you so dedicated, focused, uh, I don't want to call it driven, but you, you want to do it. It's all you want to do. It's because you love it so much that that's what you, you know you want to do it. I've always drawn since I was a little kid. And I've always loved it. And there was, was there times when I thought, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Yeah, lots of times. There's still times I don't like stuff I do. But you keep doing it. Okay, now I'm going to have to turn this upside down so I can get at these. Um, 
um, fins, if you will. All right, so let's see here. I mean, I cannot sing or play an instrument if my life depended on it. Maybe if my life depended on it, I could force myself to learn it. I've mm. never wanted to sing. I've, I mean, we all sing. Don't get me wrong. We all hum and sing and, you know, whatever. But, you mm. know, as far as well, let's say. <laughs> and my family will be the first to tell you, uh, yeah, mom can't sing. Um, <laughs> but I would never loved it enough to want to learn it. Could I have learned better? Could I have played a musical instrument? Maybe. If I loved it enough to want to do it, but I never did. Yeah, maybe Whippy. Whippy is saying that this fish could be done with an elegant rider and a water brush. Probably. I'm not, I don't, I know there's a, a elegant rider technique where people are taking those elegant writer marker, um, you know, uh, calligraphy markers and doing things with water brushes with them. And that's, you know, probably could be cool, but I, you know, I'm, I got this, you know, I mean, I, I got the supplies here of this, so I'm just using it. But yeah, there's a lot of Google. If you're watching this recording, Google elegant writer. I don't know what it would be under elegant writer, water, coloring something like that probably I just haven't bothered to do that because I have watercolors I have water brushes you know I got so many other kind of stuff and I just don't you know need to do it that way yeah you just you, you have to love whatever you do I mean if you're a computer programmer and that's your creative your creativity you learned it you love it you can't wait to do the next thing and I think that's true with everything whether you're a, a carpenter a builder a stonemason a you know a potter whatever you can't wait to do it because you love it so much now does that mean that you'll just wake up and know right off the bat what you want to do like well, do I want to be a potter? Do I want to be a painter? Do I want to be a singer? No, you know, <laughs> you're, you know, but if you have a, a, an adult that's helps you when you're young to discover those things, like Boo, for instance, I tried to teach her to draw too. She didn't have no, I didn't have no desire to learn how to draw. She wanted to bead. She wanted to bead and craft. And now she can, she can hand sew. That she can watch a YouTube video on any kind of craft and just look at it and make it. You know. Oh, Paula did a video with the Elegant Writer. Okay, I missed that one. Go look up Journal Artista for that. I guess she, I don't know if she kept it. Is it recorded? And I'm going to sh shade that after that sets a little bit. I'm going to put a shadow under it. But I can't do it now because I'll just smear that, right? Um, so, Cam has always wanted to draw. He loves to draw. Draw and read. Draw and read. I mean, if I buy... I mean, and I've always just let them both. Boo's not a big reader. She's sports. Um, she's, you know, she does professional cheer. But she loves any kind of sport. She loves gymnastics. She would live in the gym. <laughs> I tell you. Um... She's very, you know, very athletic. She loves her sports. But I've always let them go into the bookstore and anything they ever want to read, I let them buy. Doesn't matter. I, you know, whatever, whatever you want to read. And I always told them. Now, not so much Boo, because she doesn't have, she spends most of her time, if she has to read, you know, things for school books and, you know, things that's assigned reading. She's not real big, because she doesn't have time. She's all in the gym, right? But I always told Cam, I said, you can go buy any book you want. And if you read it and it seems like you either not ready for it or it's too intense or whatever the reason, you don't, you don't have to read it right then. Just tell me you want a different book. Let, you know, or, or save it for later or give it away if you want to. But I, I've always let him read whatever they want. He was reading like, um, what is that book? Um, 
you know, the girl with the arrows, the, the, comp, you know, what is that, what was that movie? It was, the book was made into a movie. I was kind of wondered when I bought it for him. I said, is this going to be too intense for you? He was 10 when he read that. What was that called? What was that movie? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, they're trying to stay alive and Hunger Games. Thank you, Claudia. Hunger Games. He was he wanted to read the Hunger Games when he was ten. This was before before any of the movies came out. And then by the time the movies came out, I said, "Well, do you want some kind of? Do you want one of those little pins or something?" He goes, "No." He goes, "He's I'm over it." He'd read all the books when he was 10. Of course, he saw the movies, too. But, you know, he, by the time that the movies came out, he was like, I'm over it. I've read all those books. He read them all. Anyway, um, I said, well, you, you, you decide. You get them. And if they're too intense, then you don't have to read them. No one's making you, forcing you to read them. But, I, I mean, he was reading, like, I don't know graphic novels and stuff like that when he was like seven you know like bone and I don't know I don't know all the ones now but he was he's always been a reader he's reading like Kingdom Hearts and all that of course I taught him how to play video games when he was I taught him how to hold a mouse and we would play video games together because I knew that they need to know technology so he was like two sitting in my lap two and three teaching them how to use a computer. Loves to draw. She comes home to school and pulls her off. Yeah, see, that's that was Cam. He always wanted to draw. Boo was always into sports. Anything, gymnastics. She was doing gymnastics as, as soon as she could get to a gym. I mean, four three four, well probably about four age four she started in gymnastics and now she can do it i mean she's can tumble like the best of them and then got into cheer competition cheer and now next year she'll be in high school cannot believe it and she uh, has already made she's going to be in ninth grade and in ninth grade, they only pick a couple uh, uh, freshmen in the high school to be on varsity. And so she's a letterman. She made varsity. She just found that out on Sunday. So now she won't be in. I, she may, I don't know, she may sub or something, a couple, you know, if emergency came to it for a team competition. But she's going to be in. Um, high school cheer so competition cheer in high school so she probably won't have the time she'll still go to her gym for tumbling and all that but she's not going to have time to do competition like where you travel um okay scooby <laughs> getting there guys we're getting down to the last fin or two here thanks scooby we're only using one color. We're using the, I, I'm not sure if it's indigo. I'm not sure the name in the box. It's in this little in this little koi set here. I'm not sure if they call it indigo, Payne's gray, or what. So she'll be in. High school cheer. I cannot believe she's going to be in high school. Just saying. Thanks, Button. Again, I'll either hit this with a heat gun or it may be dry enough by the time I'm done to do a shadow. On each fin. And I'm not necessarily, some of the pencil lines I'm kind of ignoring, some I'm kind of going right along. But I'll erase the pencil lines when I'm done. Because I see that I need this to curve certain ways and it might not flow with my pencil line. Exactly. Of 
but this illustration board, it's a Canson illustration board. It's like it's thick, like a mat. It's a mat board. Let's see how I want that corner to end. Sorry, guys, if I got off camera a little. I think I want that just to go right off the corner because it's gonna be weird if I don't. Um. So I need a little darker at the top here. Yeah, I know. No, she's she's still in junior high. But they're they we get out of school here um like mid May. Well, third week of May or something like that. And then uh but they go back to school like the first week of August. So they get out early here, but they go back early too. Just darkening up that back side of these fins a little. Thanks, Scooby. How will you store the board? Store it? Well, I, if I was going to do a professional painting, this it need to be framed. I have I have, to, I have tons of portfolios that anything can go in. Um. I could put it in a in a sleeve if I wanted to, but I've got tons of stuff like this. Trust me, <laughs> hundreds, hundreds of things like this. I just wanted to test this board out to see how it took to watercolor for those that like Jean or you know that are doing lots of watercolor. I don't do watercolor. I mean, I can do a watercolor here and there, but it's not like my it's not my forte. Pencils are my thing. Portraits, pencils. And if y'all missed it, since y'all wouldn't have seen this if you're watching this, let me show y'all a couple things that I've done over the last couple days, or well, within the last week I'm working on. I'll let this sit for just a minute because I want to wash a shadow under it. So it's a good, just a good place to let it sit for a second. So in part one of today's show, um, I, I worked a little bit on... It's not done yet. It's still in progress. But I wanted, Mom was here. Mom's here on Mondays. My mo mother is. So I told her that for Mother's Day, I'm working on a picture of my grandma. So this is my grandma's passed away. This is when she was about 92, I think. Me and Mom decided she was about 92. So it's in progress. And there's going to be a video up on this. So that's Grandma's portrait, and I'm doing this for my mom for Mother's Day. Again, I still have to do all the shells and more shading and more out on the clothing. And her face has got, uh, you know, quite a few more layers to add to it. But I started this this morning. And uh, I'm also going to work on, I have, do y'all want to see? All right, I'm, not, I'm just going to show you this real quick. <laughs> I want to do more, um... YouTuber shout outs, you know, there for a while I was doing one a month and I did about 10 maybe, 10 YouTubers. So I'm not going to say who this is. I'm just going to let y'all take a quick peek because uh, I don't know when I'm going to get to it. See, that's a problem. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. So this is what I'm doing next. And then I'm also working on, I want to do, um, for those of y'all that like Survivor, I'm going to do... Where is this it? I've got eight. I've got eight sketched out here. Eight different portraits. So I got uh, Jeff Probst going. This is uh, Survivor Jeff, if you all know Survivor. I just kind of sketched out his shirt and hat and started highlighting his face here. So I'm working on Jeff. Um, but i got to finish Grandma because this is for Mother's Day. So, yeah. So you can see, well, it won't, it won't, I don't have it on autofocus, so, but anyway, there's a, there's a two hour, or so maybe an hour and a half with that, and then I've got two Facebook artists, friends, and some other things, so, yeah, 
got about eight eight going at the, this time and then um, I show this on Facebook and I mean not Facebook on Instagram and on I don't know if Laura's still here yeah she's still here I did this for um, Laura um, and I posted it on Instagram I posted it where she is Instagram and Twitter and it's just a little sketch it's a painty sketch of her horse and um, I'm just giving this to her because he's how's 28 Laura I think her horse is 28 and it's just a painty sketch it's not a full-on portrait it's just like a sketch you can see it better on Twitter and Instagram because it kind of flashes out a little here under the lamp but anyway so I'll oh, put it down as you cry. okay well anyway that goes to her okay so now let's go back real quick and I'm just gonna add a little bit of wash here under the I want a lot of water here let me get a lot of water because I want this very wet let's make sure it's really watery yep, it's a little, still even too much I almost just want it pure water there we go and it's going to be very subtle which is what I want Oop, now I gotta get more water in there And I'm just doing a quick little shadow down the side there. So, been busy. And again, this last weekend and the rest of this week, spring break. So, I'm probably not going to stream on Wednesday, guys. So, if anybody wants to fill in. Because i got to get ready for Jen on Thursday. And it's spring break. I don't even know if I'm going to be here on Wednesday. Uh, you know, i got to go grocery shopping. I gotta, there's just lots of stuff to do to get, you know, spring break. And, you know, depending on the weather, it's all going to depend on the weather, what I can do with Jen and what time she gets here and all that. So it's kind of in the air. All right, so now his body back here is going to have a little bit more shadow under here. Back behind here. Something like that. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more shadow under his chin. And then kind of water it down and kind of make it a wash right there. Okay, a little bit more of a shadow over here. Maybe just a little bit under here. Now remember, it's watercolor. I'm reconstituting it while I'm doing this. So don't be rub, rub, rubbing it if you don't want it to <laughs> just turn solid bl blue. You know, it's, it's watercolor, so it's going to reconstitute. Okay. I'm thinking behind here, you'd see a little bit of shadow from his body behind here. But I'm trying to keep it like his body's almost behind, like his body's like that. <laughs> kind of behind, you know. So you might just see a little bit of it like that back there. So there we go, guys. I think I'm gonna, and again, I'll, there's, I can see some pencil lines. I'll get rid of all the pencil lines. Maybe just the tiniest little bit of blue. Not much. Because your eye will fill in the places where I erase pencil. So this is entitled Blue Moon. Don't make me sing, because <laughs> I already told y'all I can't. <laughs> Let's kind of scruffy this up again. Let's get that a little wet and kind of dab it off so it kind of makes it a little more like 
moonish. So, all right, guys, any questions or anything? What do y'all think? Did it turn out okay? The uh, board is held up awesomely. And that's really what I wanted to see. No buckle, no wrinkle. And it feathers, I mean, it, you know, blends out nice. I don't know, not that much, Sarah. I used to be more when, when Cam was younger. Not as much. Probably, probably wouldn't help. I wouldn't be able to help. But you can, you can, I'll, you know, help if I can. But Okay, so. Just trying to get a little more dark between. You know, back in here behind. Don't want to overdo. Okay, guys. So that's where we're going to leave it, I think. Just calling it blue moon. I'll tweet a picture of it for you. I thought that the Canson... Uh, oh, let me show you again. And No one's sponsoring me or anything. I just got this on sale. I got this on sale at... Uh, Hobby Lobby for half price. There's 10 sheets in here. It's really heavy. I mean, it's board, right? And uh, it has the Canson logo on the back here. Aw, you're welcome, Scooby. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head out. This is about over an hour and 15 minutes. I'll tweet a picture of this for today's sh uh, uh Thing. I'm not going to tweet a picture of Grandma because, for one, it's not done, and you know, yeah. I'll I'll probably put her on face. I'll put Grandma on Facebook after Mom's after Mom gets it on uh, Mother's Day. Oh, you found the character? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know them. I don't know them well enough anymore. Not for the past uh, Cam seventeen. So. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you all have a good afternoon. Uh, Janet streams at 1, Jean at 4, and I'll try to pop in and out. You know, I don't know that I'm going to go anywhere. I need to go to the grocery store, but it's going to storm at, you know, 1, 2 o'clock. So if, as long as it's not lightning, I'll be at y'all's streams. If it's lightning, guys, I'm going to shut everything down, of course. So, all right, guys. So thanks, Terry. Thanks, Janet. Thanks, Eileen, for modding. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I hope everybody had a have, has a good week. Thanks, you too, Bunny. Um, yeah, Mel, I will. I plan on streaming Thursday at some point with um, Jen Oz from Australia. But it's all you know. It's all iffy until you know we know when she's going to be here and all that. So, okay, guys, thanks.